can use the contour tool to great effect with shapes in Affinity Designer. It can be any shape as well. So I'm just going to use the cog tool. So here's the cog tool. Got triangle, star, etc. But cog tool, just as good. And just quickly create a cog design. Now it's a vector design, it can be any size. And you can fill it with any color as well. And I'm just going to go maybe for green. Could be with a gradient. And also you can modify the design in all kinds of different ways, either by modifying the settings along the top here. You've got number of teeth, maybe reduce that down a bit. You can also modify various settings by interactive there, curvature, also the whole radius, etc. What you can also do is go to the contour tool. So go here to the contour tool and simply drag in or drag out. And you can see you can create a variety of different designs. And again, it's still interactive. You can go back to the cog tool and you can still modify the number of cogs. All these things can be changed very quickly. Also, all the other settings can be changed as well. So back to the contour. Now you've got different fills. You've got three different fills here. Set the first one, set the second one, and the third one. Actually, I quite like that design. And again, it's still live. So you can still modify it, move that, change that. And again, fill it with different colors. Just change the colors there. And also what you've got, you've got other options as well. So go back to the contour tool again, and you've got contour type. So you could go with the first one or maybe the second one. Let's just select that. Just a subtle change and the third one. Again, very subtle change and you can modify other settings as well. Sometimes they have effect, sometimes not. So I'm just going to go back to the first one, but there are a number of options to go through. What you can also do, you've got various settings here, the radius, you can change it here as well as interactively. Personally, I just like the interactive feature there. So you can just modify it and move it in and out like that. Once you've done that, again, change the colors. But what you can also do is maybe fill it with a gradient. So just go over here to the gradient tool. So select that and just drag across there. And you can see now you've got this gradient. Well, what you can do, you've got linear up here. You just go to the top. You've got elliptical, you've got radial. Also, you can fill it with bitmaps, etc. Now, what you can also do, go up here to the gradient, click there, and you can maybe go click along this gradient and quickly add additional stops. So maybe go for orange, maybe go down there and click and go for blue, create different designs. But what you can also do with this, make even more colors available, is you can go to the appearance panel. All the panels in Affinity Designer can be found via view and down to studio and appearance, color, etc. They're the key ones. So what you can do, you can go here to appearance panel and you'll notice at the bottom you've got add stroke. You've also got add fill. So you can add additional fills as well. So click there and you can see you end up with this additional fill. And again with that, what you can do, you can just add a gradient, another gradient on top of the existing one, which doesn't seem to do much. You think, well, that's great. I've just got a thing. However, of course, you've got blending modes. So what you can do, just go over here. You've got normal, click there. And you've got various ones you can just run through. And you can see you get a variety of different designs. Maybe just go for difference. And of course, you can add more than one. You can add two, three, four. Just go here, add fill again. Again, it defaults to nothing. Again, go over here to the gradient tool and add another gradient. And again, click normal and go down to difference. And you can create a variety of different designs, all with different gradients. All the gradients, of course, you can just go up here, click there, and maybe add some additional stops to that as well and create a variety of different designs for your contour tool. And again, what you can do, you can modify the size, you can still change it. The gradient is still live. You can still go back and modify all the gradients. Also, what you can do, go over here to layers. This is the key panel here. You've got down here effects. So you can just go down here to effects, click there, and you can say, well, let's just add an outer shadow. Modify the outer shadow. Moment you can't particularly see it, but you can see it now. Just about you can see the shadow now. Also, you can go maybe for 3D. So you can look, create a nice 3D design. Simply just go down to that section and then change the radius. And again, you can create that. It's still live. So again, you can go down here to the contour and just change the contour. Just tweak that if you want. And also go down to the gear there or the cog tool 
and modify that as well. Change the settings and you can create a variety of different designs like that, as well as change maybe the teeth as well. So you can create that design. Now, all these designs you can save, obviously you just go to file and save for future use. Also, you've got view, studio, and you've got assets as well. So you can save it to the assets. You can also save it to a symbol. So you can create a symbol design, which you can reuse over and over again as well. And of course, what you can always do, you can always duplicate this design and create multiple copies of it and so on and so on. So create a variety of different designs. You can also, of course, convert it. So I'm just going to remove those now. I don't want those number of designs. So if you think, well, that's I'm quite happy with that design now. Got a nice contour design, again, which is still live. If you want to still modify it, you can change the settings here if you want. And then once you're happy with that, you can bake the appearance. So it's just fixed. That's it. It's fixed. But also you've got other options here. You've got now, you see it's become curves. It's converted to curves already. So what you can also do is say, go over here to the node tool. So you've got node tool. And you can see now the design is made up of nodes. And now this contour can be modified. So you can just say, you know what? I don't want it to be totally perfect. I want the design to be slightly rougher. So you can just tweak design, maybe move a few points out, etc. If you don't want to do that, of course, you can always undo and go back to the original design and then continue to modify it. And you can tweak that. And of course, you've got other things you can do, apply additional effects, maybe rasterize it as well. So you can always go to layer and you can just go down to rasterize and so maybe go to the, let's just rasterize that. Preserve that effects. No, nope, don't want that. So it's now all rasterized into a single design. So you've got your cog design. Doesn't look particularly much like a cog design now because of the contour, because of the layer effects. But you can also simply go down here to your layers and maybe click their effects and add additional 3D to the design as well as additional shadows and much, much more. And also what you can do, if you've got Affinity Photo, you can notice it over here. You can go into the there and you can go into, actually, I don't know if that's available or not because I'm using obviously <laughs> Affinity Photo. I can't say whether it's got it or not. So you may have this feature, Affinity Photo. If you have, you've got Pixel Persona, which is useful because you'll notice then you've got additional tools to apply different effects, to smudge, to dodge, burn, etc. Unfortunately, you haven't got any of these sort of filter effects, which would be nice. However, of course, what you can do, you can always copy this design into Affinity Photo if you have that application as well, and then modify design and then maybe bring it back into Affinity Designer if that's what you want to do. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials all the time. A dislike or like, always appreciated. Thank you much.